Hello everyone, I'm Dominic Joseph and I'm going to show you guys how to edit an Adobe Audition. So what you're going to actually first start with doing is you're going to download Adobe Audition. Um, if you are a student, you can sometimes get better discounts. Um, and if you're not, I think it's um, around $24 a month. Um, and I think if you pay a little extra, you can have all the other Adobe apps as well. Um, so if you have Adobe Audition 2022 or 2021 or even 2020, I believe this will work for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started by opening Adobe Audition. So when you first open Adobe Audition, you're gonna get a wide variety of things to do. And it's gonna be a little, um, little overwhelming. So what you're going to do is you're gonna press Command N. If, and if that doesn't work, you're gonna to go to File, New, and Multitrack Session. And from there, you're gonna get a menu and it's going to ask you about sample rates. It's gonna, and there's even gonna be presets available. So what I usually do is I just press none and then I start with the new multi-track session. Once you open the new multi-track session, what you're gonna wanna do after that is you're gonna wanna go up to the top left corner right next to the Apple logo, go down to preferences, and then you're gonna open audio hardware. And from there, there's gonna be an option for your output device and your input device. And a lot of people will say, Dom, I don't have a fancy mic. I don't have an interface. I don't really know what to start with. And if you don't have those things, you can just record from directly from your computer. You know, if you're just starting your podcast, you could just record it right from there. So then you click that. You're going to wanna to go into your multi-track session. Once you're on multi-track, you're gonna see a whole bunch of things. You're gonna see track one, you're gonna see track two, maybe even a couple more tracks. Sometimes it just goes down for a while. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna click on the arrow that is facing to the right. So there's gonna be two arrows, one's facing right, one's facing left. The one that's facing right is going to be your input microphone. And if that says default microphone or the one that you set in the Adobe Auditions preferences, that is the one you're on. So what you do from there is you're gonna click the little R button. Once you press the R button on Adobe Audition, you are actually pretty much ready to record. Press the record and record what you wanna record. So what you're going to do after that, after you have everything recorded, is go up to File, Export, Multitrack, Mix Down. And once you get to multi-track mix down, what you're gonna look at is you're gonna look at time selection, entire session or in selected clips. But if you want the entire session, which is what we're doing today, then you just click entire session. And once you get to there, I want you to hover over the part where it says export type, where it's gonna ask you basically what kind of file you want to export. And then there's gonna be a whole list of them. And then you pick whatever one you need. From there, you have your download and then you just successfully recorded audio on Adobe Audition. Mm -hmm.